So we all know that these days UK is becoming very very strict and the number of deportation at the point of entry these days is becoming something else. Hi beautiful people, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time here, my name is Stella. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. Click on that notification bell to get notified whenever I post any new video. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for the love, for the support. Honestly, I really do appreciate. So on this channel, I talk about my life here in the UK, what is happening around me and I share information. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the reasons for deportation and cancellation of visas. So most of the time when I make videos, I used to be like, oh, leave me a comment, the kind of video you would like me to make. And lately I've been getting so many questions, say like, can you make a video, the reasons for deportation and cancellation of visas. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about that. So listen, I'm not an immigration solicitor. For those of you that like to come and ask me some questions that even me, sometimes I get confused confused so i make my videos based on my research and you all watching me can also make this research you can use your google you can ask questions you can go on uk website and make your research and you, and you see all of this we discuss on youtube channels now the reason why some of your visas are being cancelled at the point of entry it can be anything and sometimes honestly it's not our fault well i have been there i have been in a situation where they put me in that room if you're watching this video and you have been deported before and you're watching this video you all know what it's like i have been there in 2018 i almost got deported but thank god for today and recently i realized that some persons are falling victims of this exactly what happened to me in 2018 so i came across someone at work and she was telling me what happened to her sister and that is why i will also share with you guys this particular reason you've gotten your visas now it can be either student truth or on a work visa everything is being checked everything is complete and you got your visa you're coming to the uk if you're planning to pay for um your flight ticket you have to be very very careful with the organization you're paying your flight ticket with now some agency are beginning to do some tricky things that i don't know how they do it to be honest even me when i was coming i paid for british airways and at the end of the day when i got to the airport i was told i didn't pay for flight and honestly i see no reason why you would tell me i did not pay for my flight where i have got the you know when you book for a flight they'll give you like a printer or something like that that you book your flight i printed it and i showed them they even showed me my um seat number in the plane so i don't understand why they will say i did not pay my flight ticket i got checked in in abuja but these days it's happening again so number one if you have that friend that will always tell you please can you patronize my friend she's a travel agent or he is a travel agent you all have to be very very careful with that kind of agent for me personally, I feel like if you're planning to come to the UK, it's either you book the flight yourself or you go to all of these well-known agencies, you know, that book for flight. So all these travel agents these days, look, I'm not trying to, you know, spoil any side market or side hustle or side business, but I'm just trying to be real this time around because, because I fall victim one time. So some of these people, I don't know how they, I don't just know how they, you know, maneuver the stuff, but somehow, somehow you check in within your country. For me personally, I'm from Nigeria and it has happened to me. I checked in in Abuja, I got everything. And as soon as I entered the UK at the border, they said I did not pay for my flight ticket. And every other person I entered that flight with, I was the only one they had to assign me to stay in one particular room. And I was told I am going with the next available flight. The only reason why I was not deported that night was because the next available flight was the next day 6 a.m and for some reason i was just so lucky with so many calls with so many explanations and i was crying and i was pregnant for me personally i don't know if you because i was pregnant you know it was just too much because i was crying there to be honest i can't even help myself i was just sitting down crying because i was so stressed and i've got all the proof i printed it out but on the british airway system it was not there so now i don't know how this you know self travel agencies do that so if you're coming on a work visa student visa you have to be very very careful recently they have been deporting people because of that as soon as they enter the uk they'll tell you that they can't even see you book any flights and honestly i don't know why you should be deported for that because i feel like it's not your fault or it's not our fault we paid for this flight ticket and at the end of the day they said uh this is a i don't i can't even remember what they told me I don't know if they classified it as fraud or I just can't remember what exactly. My husband has even screenshot the proof of, you know, bank deduction, you know, like bank alert of payment. Payment because I came in alone. So it was just a lot. But, but thank God at the end of the day, they allowed me. So these days they have been doing the same thing to so many people. 
I don't know how they do it. We all know how expensive flight tickets can be. We know it's very, very expensive. So maybe one, you know, uh, travel agent to tell you, okay, I'm going to give you a discount of hundred thousand or hundred pounds. And you'd be like, okay, let me try this, uh, travel agent or, or like I said, a friend will refer you. You have to be very, very careful. As soon as you're entering the UK and they cannot find it on their system, it's a U-turn. That is deportation at the point of entry. So if you're coming on a health and care worker visa, if your COS expires, you will also be deported. So the best thing is that if your COS expires, you will have to email your employer explaining the reason why you were not able to enter the country. You know, within that period in your COS and your employer can you know, issue another COS to you. But if your employer refuses to issue another COS to you, then it's a problem. So if you're coming to the UK and your COS expires, that is pure deportation at the point of entry. And again, if you're planning to come to the UK on a health and care worker visa with your spouse, your partner, boyfriend, husband, you know, wife, you all have to be very, very careful. These days, the question they ask couples is ridiculous to be honest i've seen a couple that was telling me they had to ask her what is the husband's best color and she was like she don't really know like what exactly is his best color so they had to ask her another question you understand so i know that there's some couples that know what their uh what's it called their husband or partner's best colors is but some persons don't know honestly speaking for me personally i can't even say this is his best color because i feel like he changes color tomorrow he tell you his favorite color is this Next tomorrow is that one. So the question they ask couples these days is honestly, it's unbelievable. So if you're a couple, you all need to know where you guys met, your best food, you know, just know some things about yourself so that if they ask you this question and you're not able to answer the question, they'll ask you another question. And if you cannot answer that question, they'll ask you another question. And most of the time, if the both of you are saying two different things, yeah, then it's going to be something serious what they do these days is that if they keep asking you guys questions and you're not responding especially if you're coming on a health and care worker visa they usually allow the main applicant and they'll send the other dependent back yes so this is what is happening this is so if you're coming on a health and care worker visa you're coming on a student visa you all have to know yourselves so now if you enter the uk that does not mean you're safe oh, now even if you enter the uk you're not still safe you have to be very very careful so if you enter the uk and you came in as a student you have to be mindful of this 20 hour in the past maybe so many persons you know get away with this especially the fact that after studies you will still go back to your country anyways but these days that we have got post-study visa that means after you study you've got two years this is where so many persons fall in the trap in the past so many persons work as much as they want pay off their school fees i mean after a study most of the people go back to their home country but these days everybody grabbed the opportunity of this two years post study visa so now if you're working 40 50 hours most of the time as soon as you want to apply for this post study visa they will check from your ni and they will realize that if you work more than 20 hours while school was on section you have breached the contract so this will make them cancel your visa and yes they'll send you back to your home country most of the time they give people 30 60 days maybe like two three months to you know get your things ready and leave the country and, and sometimes they will tell you with immediate effect so you have to be very very careful you're allowed to work as much as you want during holidays so if school is on section please be very very careful don't be tempted yes don't be tempted i'll say that again for those of you coming on a health and care worker visa you have to be very very careful with the organization we work with so in the past i think i shared a video about this lady you can watch this video on the screen you see this company you see this company you guys are watching this particular woman collected so many money from other people which i work with few of the people that registered with this woman and what they told me i was so shocked some of them said that when they go to the office they will not meet this woman sometimes they'll call the woman she will not pick her call and when this um when all of this saga bust the internet it got to the home office and home office sees the license and what these people told me that the home office sent all of them later that they've given three months i think either 60 or 90 days to get another company to sponsor them if if not their visa will be cancelled and they'll be sent back to nigeria so as i'm speaking to you now most people that pay this woman money are in search for cos because if there's no company that will sponsor them within that period of time the home office sent to them i think before they would just say 
leave the UK with immediate effect. And this Amara, I mean, it's not their fault. It's the woman's fault. You cannot bring people and not giving them shifts. Now, the Home Office has given them three months to get COS. To get COS. And if they're unable to get COS, they should all go back to their home country. So why am I saying this? If you're already in the UK, you have to be very, very careful with this type of agencies, you know. I feel like most of the time, all of these agencies that, you know, collect money and they don't have shift. I just feel like they're just, you know, these days their license is being taken. Because, because these days people get angry and get fed up, frustration. You know, I report the agency and as soon as they report the agency, it affects the people working under this agency. So please, you all have to be very, very careful with this. And this particular one is especially for parents. If you're coming to the UK, you're not entitled to anything. Just come in with your money. Hustle hard. I can remember somebody was telling me, oh, Stella, you're getting benefit, child benefit, you're getting this benefit. I'm not getting any benefit. Any single thing I do for my kids, I pay. Except for them going to school. I mean, the school is free, isn't it? So except for them going to that school that is free. And even if they go before the time period they stated for immigrant, I will have to pay. So I even started paying earlier until she turned of age where, you know, she had the government funding. But if you are immigrant in the uk you're not you're not entitled to public fund so sometimes if you apply for this public fund they might reject you but but sometimes for some reasons i don't know why they will still accept you and then you start getting benefit and at the end of the day they will find you or this particular error is from their own end because as international students as a immigrant as a dependent just mention if i apply for a uh, benefit i feel you should be able to see it on the system and tell me no you're not eligible or you're not entitled to a public fund and simple i'll go and rest but some of these people will now come and pay you money to your account and be giving you all the benefit and at the end of the day they'll not realize that you're not entitled to all of this benefit and then boom you get a letter from the home office for me i feel like this is their fault but anyways who am I to say all of this? I just want to let you guys know that you're not entitled to public fund. So with this point I have listed, I am sure you will learn one or two things from this video. Well, if you find this video informative, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. Share to your loved ones because I'm sure this video will help some person. Anyways, if you have any video you have in mind you would like me to make, do not forget to leave it on the comment section and I'll try my best and get back to you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Oh.